Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a holiday card in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, happy holidays. If you haven't noticed, I've got a little tree in the background. Today, I'm gonna to show you a really quick method for creating your own holiday card that you can send out digitally to your friends and family. In this video, we're gonna show you how to find stock images for your backgrounds, how to create your holiday card, and even add custom graphics. In Best of Yet, the sample images and PSD are available on flurn.com, so you can download them and simply plug in your own photos. So we're starting today's episode on pexels.com. This is a free stock image website, one of my favorite out there. And I just did a search for holiday. And as you can see, we have all these different backgrounds that are perfect for your holiday photos. You can go with these like templates with wood backgrounds, or you, of course you can even just do a tree or you can use your own photograph here. The main idea here is you just wanna choose a background that you can then put in your own family photo. So this is the background we're gonna choose here. You can see it's a free download. Just click here and download it to your computer. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here in Photoshop, let's go ahead and open up this sample image. Now we're just going to first create a new layer. So let's go ahead and click on our new layer icon. And I'm gonna use my marquee tool up here on the top left. We're just gonna create a rectangle right over here. This can be any shape or size that you want. Now that we have our rectangle, we're gonna fill this with white. So let's go to edit and then down to fill, and we're just gonna choose for our contents, we're gonna go down to white and hit okay. Now it's time to insert your family photo. So let's simply double click on the background, or you can go to file and then down to open, and we're gonna just choose a family photo. This is one I got off pexels.com here as well. There we go. And now we're just gonna use the move tool and click and drag from one image to another. Perfect. Now here's where the real cool part comes in. So I want this family photo to be only visible inside the boundary of this image. So anytime you wanna resize a photo in Photoshop, I highly recommend making it a smart object. That way, if you make it small and then back large again, you won't lose any quality. So to do that, we're just gonna right click on our layer and go down to convert to smart object. You'll see it right here. Okay, so now it's a smart object. We can see our little symbol there. I'm gonna go ahead and make this invisible real quick, just that layer. And then I'm gonna use my marquee selection tool to make a selection inside of the white boundary. This is gonna kind of make it look like it's a photo frame. So now that I have a marquee selection, let's go ahead and turn our layer back on and I'm gonna click on my layer mask. There we go. Now this family photo is just inside there. And as you can see, it looks like it's inside of this picture frame. Okay, now if we wanna move it, we can just click on our move tool and let me just go ahead and make sure it's nice and centered there. That looks good. Now, if you wanna move the photo itself with inside of the frame, all you have to do is simply click on this chain link item between the layer and the layer mask. So let's go ahead and click on the chain link there. And now you can see I'm able to move my photo or my layer mask separately. So let's go ahead and click on the photo. I'm gonna to go to my move tool. And now you can see I can move this photo around wherever I want. I can even hit control or command T and let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit but you can see it stays exactly where we want it inside of that frame. Perfect, let's hit enter and we're already looking pretty good. The next thing we're gonna do is just add a little bit of a sign or a banner that says happy holidays or whatever you want. So let's go ahead, we're gonna just create a new layer. Let's use our marquee tool again and we'll try to line it with the top there. And there we go. And we're gonna go to edit, down to fill and use white. That's fantastic. So now we have to find some sort of a graphic that we wanna put here. And for that, I recommend just finding a free vector or graphic website. In this case, we're using Vect Easy here. This is, they have a ton of free graphics here. And you can see, I just did a search for holiday and found this. We're gonna to link to all this down below, by the way, so you can download these absolutely free. So you can see in this case, it's a free download here. Just click on the free download. You can click on free license. They just ask that you link to the original image, which we will do down below. And you can do the same thing if you use this as well. Or you can create a pro account, which is relatively inexpensive and just get your rights for this photo. Okay, so now that we have this downloaded, let's just go back into Photoshop. What I wanna do in Photoshop is go ahead and open up that document. So we'll just open this up. Now, from that vector website, VectEasy, this gives us an EPS file format, okay? 
So EPS traditionally is used for programs like Adobe Illustrator, but you can open them in Photoshop as well. So simply click on that EPS. We're going to go down to open. There we go. And it's going to say rasterize EPS format. Basically, it's going to take that vector format and just put it into a flat image. That's totally OK. Let's hit OK here. There we go. And we can see it opened up into a flat image. So I'm going to hit F for full screen. Now, this looks great. The only thing is that all of my text, all this is just on one layer. I just turn this layer off and on. I actually want to like extract all of these different graphics from this layer. It's a really easy thing to do, actually. All I have to do is go to select and then down to color range. And since all these are the same color, I'm just going to use my little eyedropper here to click right on there. OK, you can use your fuzziness to include more or less if you want. There we go. In this case, that looks really good and hit OK. And now you can see that color just turns into a selection. So it's a very easy way to select it out from the background. Now on a new layer, let's go ahead and just create a new layer. I'm going to go to edit and then down to fill. And we're just going to choose to fill this with black and hit OK. There we go. Let's hit Control or Command D to deselect. And now if I turn the background layer off, you can see we have all of our text with a transparent background. This means we can put it wherever we want. So let's go ahead and just make sure we move this from one document to another. Let's grab our move tool. We're going to just click and drag from this document over to our holiday card and hit F for full screen. Now, I kind of like this season's greetings right here. So what I'm going to do is use my rectangular marquee tool and we're just going to go ahead and make a selection right around this and then click on my layer mask. Boop. There we go. And you can see now we have season's greetings and we're just going to put a little bit of text here. All right, from the Smith family, or this can be your own family, obviously. And of course, you can customize this messaging however you want it. And we can see it's really that easy to create a custom card. Now, of course, in this episode, we did it holiday themed. We've got our holidays coming up, but you can use these exact same techniques, both searching for a background on a free stock image website like Pexels and searching for graphics on a free vector website like Vec Easy. You can download this PSD on Flurn.com and then just put in your own family. It's a great way to send out those digital holiday cards, especially if it's running a little bit late in the season and you don't have time to mail things off. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays. If you want to learn more from Flurn, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks again. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone.